Hi, I'm Troy Wolverton from the San Jose Mercury News. I write the Tech Files column about personal technology. This is the first of what will hopefully be many video Tech Files. This week I'm looking at Samsung's Chromebook computer. It's one of the first notebooks running Chrome OS. I like the Chromebook a lot, but ultimately it's not for many consumers because it just has too many shortcomings. It could be, however, a good secondary computer for many consumers. Chrome OS is a version of the Linux operating system, but it's one that has been stripped down to the bare essentials. And in this case, what that means is just a web browser. When you turn on Chrome OS, you don't see a desktop or a start button or a taskbar. All you see is a web browser. And that's the entire interface you use with the operating system. One of the great things about this computer is that it's very lightweight. It's only about three pounds, so it's, and it's also very thin. The other thing that's nice about it is it's got a full-size keyboard, and it's got a bright screen. And it's got a battery that will last about eight hours. The Chromebook comes in two different flavors. It comes in a Wi-Fi only version, one that can only access the internet through a Wi-Fi connection, and one that comes with a 3G antenna so that it can connect not only to Wi-Fi hotspots, but also to the internet through cell cellular networks. If you try to compare the Chromebook to Windows-based PCs, you might think that it doesn't stack up very well to those other computers. It only has 16 gigabytes of storage, for instance, versus a 300 or 500 gigabyte hard drive you might find on some low-end Windows PCs. It only has two, gig two gigabytes of memory versus three or four that you might see on those Windows PCs. And it has an Atom processor, which is one of the low power but also slower processors offered by Intel. Those specifications may not seem very good when you compare them to Windows-based PCs, but because of the way Chrome OS is designed, they're perfectly adequate for this computer. Chrome OS is designed with the internet in mind. So instead of storing items here on the computer itself or doing all the processing here on the computer itself, the idea is that you do all that out on the internet. So if you want to access photos, you're not looking for photos here on the device, you're looking for them through Flickr or Picasa. If you want to edit those photos, you're not doing editing here on the device itself through a native application, but through a application such as Photoshop.com out on the internet. They have set up an application store so that people can actually find new and easy to use applications that are made to be run in, inside a web browser. While you can do a lot with a web browser these days, there are some things you still need native applications for. You won't see many very sophisticated games, such as a Half-Life or a Mass Effect, running through a web browser. And you can't do things like do sophisticated video editing. While I like Chrome OS and I like the Chromebook, there are some significant limitations with it. One of the big limitations is that Chrome OS is still an immature operating system. There's still a lot of things that need to be built into it. So, for one thing, it does not have support for VPN. VPN is an application that's used to connect to many corporate networks around. It also doesn't support Citrix, which is one of the programs that is used to deliver applications virtually, often corporate applications, virtually to a computer. Another limitation of Chrome OS is that it has a limited support for various file formats. So while you can pull up photos in JPEG format or you can read text files, you can't necessarily directly on the computer pull up, say, a Word document, or even pull up an older video file that's in AVI, or even an a audio file that's in the AAC format that Apple has popularized in iTunes. For these and other reasons, Chrome OS just doesn't necessarily make a good computer as your primary computer. But if all you want to do with a computer is to surf the web, do some light web applications, play some casual games, Chrome OS may be right for you. I liked it a lot, and I think it'd make a great secondary computer for many folks.